already recording. Hello. How is everyone doing today? Just give me a minute here to get on. For some reason I just started recording. So give me a minute here. And I will be on. I know I can get on YouTube right away. It's just welcome. I'm a few minutes early. So say hello when you're popping on and let me know where you're watching from. I'm just trying to get on Facebook and then we will get started. I hope you're all having a good day. We're going to finish up what we started the other night and didn't get to finish. And then I have a few items we're going to work on be doing a little bit of everything today. So welcome. Just give me a minute. Facebook is lagging. So happy you could be here. And of course it's still lagging. Say hello when you're popping on. I'm just trying to get on Facebook. So as soon as we get on, we will get started. I know I'm early. It's a long story. It's always a long story with me. <laughs> oh, finder window. Nope, that's not doing it. Oh, there we go. I think we got it. Still trying to get on here. So sorry. I hate it when I come on here and I feel like I'm wasting everybody's time. But I appreciate your patience. So we are on Facebook. Now we're just trying to get on my page. So maybe it's a good thing I started a little bit early because it's going to take a few minutes again. Maybe we'll just let that warm up and then we'll go back to it. I'm not having any luck. All right. It's coming up now. Just going to put away this drill bit. So I do not cook myself with it. Okay, let's see if we can get it on here. There's, hope it's working better than it did the other night. All right, so we did, we finished the one set, the Halloween, the fall set to the gumbo, gumball. There we go. We're on live both places. Well, miracles never cease. All right. And we can see comments too. For now. <laughs> there we go. I just never. Let me see if this button will help. Oh, I'm sorry. Just give me another minute. There we go. Comment. Okay, it's on. There we go. All right. Now we are good. Can everybody hear me okay? I think that's it. We are on. Yay! All right. So let's finish this up. 
we got a little bit of a mess here, so I kind of left it the way it was. So when we got back on, we could pick up right where we left off. Okay, so we set up the the fall, and we were finishing up with Thanksgiving. So we have the pumpkin pie label to finish up. And I'm thinking that's not yellow enough for me, so we're going to going to add a little more yellow to it. There we go. I want it a little darker. Let me bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, so I'm just using the marker to kind of fill in because I don't think that was that yellow was dark enough for me. Just kind of washed out. There, that looks better. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the leaves to this set. And then we're going to go back and we're going to antique some of this because I'm not liking, I just want to give it a little bit of dimension. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, so my pumpkin pie see we did that one with the paint so let's see what this looks like yeah we'll do it with this so you have one little word flag that goes on for fall and then you have the pumpkin pie one which I'm coloring now that goes on with the Thanksgiving set. The nice thing about this set is you have so many pieces and they all can go together. Hello, welcome. Let me know if you can hear me okay. So I think with these colors, we're gonna go a little bit darker. I kind of want to pull this like barn red through it and I'm thinking I'm going to pull a little bit of green through it because you know how they start out green the leaves and then they kind of go ahead and turn color but it still has some green in it. Now I'm going to go ahead take my scissors and cut off the sponge so I have a clean surface to start with so all I'm doing is kind of leveling it out now on our plate here I'm gonna add a little bit of this barn red because I think this has more of like a burgundy yes a burgundy color to it and then we're going to add a little bit of the sunset yellow no golden sunset excuse me and then we're going to add a little bit of the green there not doing that everything's sticking to me everything's sticking to that all right so I'm looking for a flat surface on this side so I'm going to go ahead with this now all you're going to do is dip and then dot okay let's see I think I'm going to go that way so I don't quite mess up the pattern. Wow, that looks really pretty. All right, I'm gonna grab some of that again. There. So there we kinda of got all our colors in there, as you can see. So let's 
dab again. So see how it keeps everything in line? And then we're going to dab onto the paper towel. There. Doesn't that look pretty? Check that out. Hi, Tiff. How are you? Oops, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? So we'll give that a minute to dry, and then we'll go ahead and do the back. But that was just from putting them all in a row like that. All right, now, what I plan to do, and I picked up some more paint today, so I'm not sure if this is going to have the same effect that did, but let's give it a try. I got this at Michael's. Now, I forget what this rat runs at. Oh, I still got some in here. I just want to kind of check this out and see if this has... Yeah, that looks very similar to this. This was eight something at Michael's. I always use the antique wax on stuff, so I thought I'd try their brand. It's a, You're supposed to be able to see through it, which is exactly what the Waverly is. Oh my gosh, you have been busy. All right, so for this, we decided to finish up the set and then work on a few things and show you a few things. So. All right, now this is what I planned on doing the other night. I, I want this darker, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the wax on here to see if we can get it darker. Because it was just too light for me. I want you to be able to see what's on that spoon. And to me, it was just too light. Now I would suggest putting some Velcro on here and then Velcro dots on the back of your little acorns. No, this actually came from Hobby Lobby. We spray painted it white and then we actually accented the front with the teal. Um, I have a couple of sets out there that go in this. So what I wanted to do the other night, and I didn't get a chance to finish, was I wanted to, like, antique this. Whoops. These are small little buggers. So I'm actually just dabbing some of that on there just to kind of dirty it up some. And then those two would go on your scoop. Might as well do the back of these while we're here now that it's dry on the front. just gives it a little more dimension. That's not enough for me. These are small buggers. These are two acorns and they go on the scoop. There we go. And I probably, I'm going to do the leaves too. I'm actually going to do the entire set around the edges. Hi, Monica. Yeah, we try to have different sets for this gumball machine for different holidays and such. We had a ladybug one. We had a real cute one at, at uh, Easter. And then we kind of got busy with other stuff. So now if I didn't like all this green, I can go back and I can add some more um yellow and orange in there, which I may go back and just add a little orange, but we kind of want to make those look rough. I'm just making sure, yeah, we did this, but I want it a little darker. All right, and then we're gonna wax the corners. 
give it a little dimension. There we go. See how it just gives it a darker edge? There. I like that better. Just kind of highlights everything. There. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. We went ahead and we did a couple teal ones. Turquoise. I thought that would be different. And it would kind of go in line with... Um, Let's go ahead and dirty it up. The um, that color on the gumball. I went out and got some pumpkins today to decorate. We are. I am part of the local business association, and we are doing a bat in the belfry um, promotion starting October 13th. So I was out gathering bat stuff or making some bat stuff. There, see how that kind of just looks a little better than that did? Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and do our acorns. Hi, Nanny Dot. Because this is what we were gonna do the other night, but I didn't get a chance to finish. So, apologize. There we go. I just think it looks nicer and it looks aged. That's my preference. You could so easily um, put resin on these. Hi, Marsha. Did you get your footballs yet? Curious what you think of them when you see them up close. All right. Now, I had planned. This is a little light set. I think I got from Dollar General with the little leaves. Thank you. So, I thought it'd be cute to do this. Now, I want some in the gumball, but I'm gonna add leaves and such out here, so I thought it'd be cute to have some out here too, and then cover it up with the leaves, and then go ahead and put the acorns in here. I just thought that would be so cute. And I may just go with more in there and less out here. There we go. Well, why am I sticking them in there if we didn't paint the backs of them? Let's go ahead and wax. That was a stupid move. There we go. I mean, this will look so cute at night. Put our little acorns in there, our little leaves, our lighted leaves. There we go. And this has our little scoop on it. Oh, that's not going to close. There we go. That's just going to look so cute. Isn't it? Let's put this in here like that. There we go. So again, this is your fall set. And then we'll finish up our little turkey set here. So I'm going to go ahead and wax the back of the leaf. Because I don't think this is wet enough. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'll wax and then I'll just dab the rest of the paint off of it. That works.
I saw somebody messaged me before I was supposed to go on, so I'm so sorry. Awesome! Yay! Thank you. I have to tell you, because I don't know if I had a chance to tell you, those footballs got me in trouble. <laughs> I shared... I First of all, I haven't done a football flag locally since I started doing what I was doing. See, we have the paint in lines there, and then we're just dipping that and kind of mushing it around. Um, those football helmets, I thought, I'll make a local football flag. Well, my Facebook page exploded. My Robin's personalized gift page. And they're like, can you do soccer? Can you do volleyball? Can you do marching band? Can you do... <laughs> so the other weekend, that's all I was doing were sports flags, garden flags. And they turned out so cute and everybody went ape over them. And that's all because Marcia said... Can you make me some football signs? <laughs> so I'm blaming my success on Marsha. <laughs> and then somebody said, can you make me some trick or treat bags? So I made trick or treat bags all this weekend. <laughs> And then we, uh, look at that. That looks like a really good piece of pie. Then we have this promotion coming up in November locally for our Hughesville Business Association. And it's called Five to Drive. And people need to go around and visit the local shops. And if they make a purchase, you stamp their card with your business stamp. Well, I didn't have a business stamp. And my husband's like, we can make those on the laser. So I'm like, okay. So he made me a business stamp. And evidently, I'm not the only business in town that doesn't have a business stamp. I know, right, Monica? It is a nice problem to have. So, now everybody is calling for rubber stamps, <laughs> which I love it. I love helping everybody out. It just wasn't on the list this week because I have some custom orders that have to get out of here. So, it's just funny the way everything has happened. And, and our form for this promotion is due in on Friday. So you have to stamp your form before you hand it in. So we got a lot of stamps to make before Friday. <laughs> so yes, it's, it's exciting. It's, we've worked really hard and we're finally in the black, <laughs> which is a nice place to be. All right, so we added some, just some antiquing to all this. And I just go ahead and wax the back. So we're just having a good old time. And my stamp, I love my stamp. I have to show it to you. I brought it into the room because I'm like, I have to show the girls how this turned out. So now we're personalizing, and it's not just for businesses, we're making our own stamps. Oh, okay. No pad holders, no problem. Like I said, anything you want on them. And I keep talking about it, and I haven't done it yet, but we have to have like a, a night where I just walk you through the store and show you what we got. 
because we got some really great Christmas gift ideas. All right, so we've got everything done for the Thanksgiving one. So we could go around and we could cover up this wire with just about anything. So it's going to stay. There we go. I know I have more. And then I have two ornaments I want to show you that I got orders for. And I got an order for a goat. <laughs> Leave it to me, right? So my pumpkin lantern sold. My leaf set sold out of the store. <laughs> And, and now my um, Highland, I don't know if you remember the Highland cow one, but that sold out of the store. And look, all this stuff kind of goes with each other. So you can add the pumpkin pie in there with the acorns. So what I'm showing you is you end up with a really cute set here that goes together. So let's just add our pumpkin pie pieces in there. Here's our little pumpkin pie that can go with the egg corn. This is going to drive me crazy. I'm moving it. I'm sorry. I'll just put it behind like that. Okay. So we got egg corns, pumpkin pie here. We got our little Indian hat, our little pilgrim hat. Okay. And then you got leaves. So each set goes with the other. Let's put it this way. There we go. Now that looks better. Isn't that cute? And then you can kind of cover up your light set in the back. Just like that. I know I have another one of those. There we go. Look at that. Wouldn't that look cute on a table? All right. Then my whole inspiration for this came from these. And I still have to, um, these are already um, waxed. I still have to spray these, but these are going to be little girls' hair bows, which I did the back, but I used a really light paint, um, this warm buff, and I think I kind of want it darker on the back. So, thank you. You could use them in, you could use them on a tear tray. If you have our mini door set, you could add them to that. Like there's so many possibilities for this. I like to put the clips on the back because then I can clip them to something and spray them with a clear acrylic. It just makes it easier. One says yum, one says Thanksgiving. So you have quite a few. I put the Halloween ones out in the store and they already all sold. So my store is small, but let me tell you, there's a lot of possibilities for gifts, a lot. Everybody's coming in right now and picking up trick-or-treat bags. Because I did about 15 of those. There we go. So, these are these hair clips. I get these on Amazon. And all you have to do is put like a strip of this glue right there and depending on which side it's going to go on then you would just put that in there and then I just kind of let it sit that should be okay and then I clip them and spray them all at once that's how we do it all right now I have to show you my rubber stamp. 
This is so cool. This is the size we're making right now. And we just glued it to a piece of wood. I do. I started with the Halloween and then went to Thanksgiving and then there'll be a Christmas. Um, these are not listed on my, um, in my Etsy shop, but I'd be more than happy to send you a picture of what I do have. All right. So here's what this looks like when we, well, let me see if I could do it this way. We get this rubber and there's a way you put it on the machine and it carves out what you don't want to show. Here it is after I stamped it in the ink and wow, don't I have a piece of paper here? I do. So we ordered blocks, the kind of blocks that have the curve on the side so you can grip it better. But this was a trial run yesterday. <laughs> so we'll check it out. And we left the front of the bird open so I can take my pencil and I can color in the chest on the bird. So there's Robin's personalized gifts. That's the name of my in-home store that's off the side of my house. Isn't that cute? So, we will, well, I like to keep that on there because it keeps it really moist. There we go. But yeah, and then I had a shirt. I think I posted it on my Facebook page. I had a shirt that had a stain on it. So, you cannot sublimate. Um, sublimation is this, okay, where we print. Like the, the football helmets I just made for Marsha, they are on this wood that is white on one side and we have a print that's called a sublimation print. And you have to print it backwards and then when you press it on the item, it comes out the way it's supposed to. Well, I have sublimation paper, but you can't print on cotton t-shirts. You can only print a design on um, polyester and this shirt was cotton. Well, I found a sublimation spray and I thought, well, let's give it a try. I sprayed it with the sublimation spray, put the print down, pressed it. Now I have a Robin's personalized gift shirt that covered over the steam. <laughs> so I'm thrilled with my little bird. <laughs> Yes, I can show you the trick-or-treat bags. Uh, I'll show you three of them because that's all I have in the shop. And these are actually made for my grandchildren. My one grandson is into T-Rex. He absolutely adores. In fact, I made him a set of dinosaur tiles for Christmas and he saw them and he started going through them. Now, mind you, he's only three. He won't be four until next June. And he already told me that the one dinosaur on the tile does not match his name. <laughs> so this is trick or treat. Then this one, Gordon is into the Hulk. So I had to make a Hulk. And I added this here, little, little um, Halloween bag full of candy. And it says trick or treat. And then their name. I know, right? And this is for my little granddaughter, Adeline. She loves Wyatt. And I know this isn't Wyatt, but I thought she'd like a little hat with a witch hat on it. But I also have pumpkin ones. I have skeleton ones. If you go on my Robin's Personalized Gifts uh, Facebook page, you'll see them all on there. So there's a lot of designs to choose from. But these are $9.95. They're a really nice heavy-duty bag. 
they've got a black handle and they're washable. So, so that's those. I thought I brought my shirt in here. I wanted to show you my shirt. I guess I didn't. But anyhow, I got an order for this yesterday. This little baby, her name is Ruby Wren. And this is a Wren bird. So I designed that for her. Isn't that cute? So what we're going to do with this is... We're actually going to use some twine for the hanger. Oh, we even had a little little um, Indian hat to go with those. And it's funny because this ended up really different from what I started. <laughs> but it says baby's first Christmas because she was just born on the 21st, which was my son's birthday. I'm trying to see if I have some pink. I don't think I have it in here. I think it's in the other room. I don't. Well, maybe this one will work. Let's try it. That looks pretty good. And then what I need is a little wooden ball. And I don't think I have, yes, I do. Then we're going to put a little ball on here. And then we're going to tie a little bow. I'll send those. I have their phone number. I'll send you my shirt. It's just cute. I sometimes buy my shirts at the local thrift shop. And I do that because my skin is very sensitive to a lot of stuff. And if I have a shirt that's been pre-washed a lot... It is awesome because it doesn't bother my skin. Yeah. Well, I went on early, so in Rachel's defense, she's as busy as I am. So, so there, we've got that. And then up here, we'll tie a real pretty bow. That kind of goes with it. I kind of like that. We have all kinds of ornaments that we're working on. Transportation, you name it, we're working on it. There we go. And then you would knot it up here. Actually, down a little further. So see, this is dry now. Isn't that cute? I just have to spray the front, but with the clip on there, I can clip up to something and hold them all in a row and go right down the line. Thank you, Rachel, for sharing. So there is the ornament for my customer. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Isn't that cute, though? Can you, could you read it? It's a wren bird. If any of you do any kind of crafting that involves like um, 
uh, SVGs or PNG designs or if you have a Cricut, check in the comments or in my description. I have a link for Creative Fabrica. I'm telling you, I finally joined up a monthly subscription and it's like $59 a year. They have embroidery designs in there. They have crochet designs in there. They have just about everything in there. And I have used it so much. When somebody contacts me and says, I need a football helmet with glitter or a football, I can go on there and I can look up anything. So if you have used files like that, you might want to check it out. I think I've got a little one in here. Because this one's going to be special. We actually have a new business in town called Beauty in the Making. And this person and I have become friends. And she is by far the sweetest person I've ever met. And she's having an open house in two weeks. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to make her an ornament with her business on it. And this is it. She just opened like in March. And her store is so cute. And it's in her home, which is what mine is. So it's really cute. I thought she'd appreciate it. So we'll just put, and I'm not liking this this um, ball. I want to darken it up a little. So we're going to do that. But these are just circles that we have cut out on our laser. And I have pressed the design on there. Now there were some spots on there and it made the spots darker. Well, we're going to look for a new one. That looks disgusting. There we go. This one's nicer than that. <laughs> so I thought it'd be cute to give her something to celebrate her grand opening and to show her what we do here. Now I'm looking to see if there's any ribbon. Whoops. Actually, this ribbon is really pretty. And I think this would look nice on there too. Yeah. It's kind of like a fall theme she's got going on in her picture. I took it off her Facebook page. Well, she's been very good to me, Marcia, so I kind of want to, you know, just give her a little something. Plus, we've been talking about collaborating on stuff. Like, um, I just wanted, want her to know how happy we are to have her in the neighborhood. Why can't I get that right? Let's try it this way. I just thought it'd be cute. And there's some orange leaves she has in the picture, so I think that would look pretty. Now all we have to do is our knot. Isn't that cute? Just something something simple. Look at that. Rachel, you're going to have to look back at my rubber stamp if you didn't see it. Joe made me a rubber stamp. Isn't that cute? Look how little. Because see, we have to stamp this when they come through. When they, uh, because the contest, um, what else was I going to do? Okay. The contest, they give away a car. 
we have a local car dealer and he gives us a used car to give away and i'm talking a nice used car so everybody gets really excited about visiting all the shops and we have to stamp their little ticket when they come to our store Whoa. there we go everything just went flying well i lost the pilgrim hat on the floor I'll get it later look at that that, that pumpkin kind of stands on its own the little one there all right so I've sold the Highland cow set which I have in my shop awesome so she wanted one extra piece added to this set so here's the highland cow i know some of you were with me when we made it this has a little stand okay they actually show goats for 4-h so this says live in the farm life then we've got this that leans up against the haystack with the chicken forget what this was for might not even went with this set and then we have little all these little sunflowers that we hung on here and then we had the rusty bells okay well she wanted a goot <laughs> this is our goat it's a boar goat and, it, and that's the kind they show. So her goat's name is Peanut. So I made this. This was supposed to resemble, you know, those big wooden wire spools that they have? Well, the goats like to jump up on those. Bye, Tiff. Thank you. So I made one of those. And then I made her goat. Okay. Then we can put this up here. Or we can put the chicken up here. And we can put live in the farm life down here. I have to go ahead and um, antique that. And our, actually, let's put him up top. There. That's our Highland cow that we need. And then we can put this guy down here. But this is the one that I have to, um, where's my lights? I have to antique it. It's too light for me. What do they call them? Do they call them a wire, wire rope spool? mind is coming to a blank but I can go ahead and make this match the rest of this um, we used white splatter paint and we also used some of the, um, the teal But we'll add those two colors to make it look real. Is it this one? Yeah. No. What is this one? That way I'll make it all blend in. And then she's got her pitchfork. She's got her ear tag that says Moo. And then we'll just go ahead and actually, let's put a little bit of the sunset on it too. Golden sunset because that's what the others have. And I want to make it look like it really belongs. tell you though sometimes I have to sit for a couple days and think about it 
it's kind of tough sometimes coming up with what are we going to do next i hope i don't run out of ideas there and then we'll add some of this and then i'll go back and splatter and then i think it looks like it belongs right And I said to her mom, I said, you know, you have a picture of her goat. We could put her goat on an ornament. Actually, I thought it'd be cute to add a burlap bag to this and put peanuts in the burlap bag and put on the front of the bag the word peanuts because that's the goat's name. And I think that would be really cool. Now, see, I think that kind of looks like this. I'll just add the splatter, right? It is, isn't it, Rachel? I feel your pain, girlfriend. Because I've been sitting on this now for two weeks and she must think I totally gave up on her. She's like, don't sell... Electric wire spool, yes, or cable reel. I think it's electric wire spool. But see, that kind of looks like the rest of this. And now I'll just do the splatter, and then we'll add the peanut bag. And then see, she's got all these. Turn this without dropping anything. See, these all go in various places. We added... We added the rope to it so it could be tied in any place, or we could actually make this into a garland for her. No, they do better this way. They're a little bit heavy in the front there. So, so yeah, then, that's, then I'm done with her. Yay! She ordered some football flags and came in and saw my shop and freaked out. So, I think little peanut is cute. So, there we go. Peanut now has a place. She wanted me to add hair to. I don't know that this goat has much hair. So, I think he looks just fine sitting down there. And she can add these wherever she wants. Add these up here. Takes a nose dive. There we go. So yeah, there's my. So I killed a couple of um, orders all at once today. Yay! <laughs> so there we go. Peanut has now has a home with the Highland cow. Because the little the young girl loves Highland cows, so her mother said she is absolutely absolutely gonna love this. So I was trying to do that. Put them in there. Forget it. You know what I mean. <laughs> all right. That's all I got for today. I thank you for hanging out with me. And Marsha, I will send you a picture of the Halloween barrettes. Don't forget, I also have all the hair clips. I'll just maybe do a, um, a video of the whole thing. But don't forget to check my other page out. All right, you all have a great evening. And Rachel's on tomorrow at 3 Central, 2 o'clock Eastern. Thank you. Bye-bye.